If you guys are new to the show, we always open with Escape from Tarkov. Emulating one of the greatest... Ooh, look at this gun. One of the greatest 1990 FPS games of all time. D-Space Double OM. We play it in a different fashion. Yo, Zen Overmind, thanks for the 404. Can we get some heavy dang coin spam in the chat? I will tell you this. Today, high octane, high energy. I, I feel like there's energy jink flowing through these veins. I don't know why I don't drink energy drink. I haven't even drank coffee yet today. There was a lot of hype today. I'd like to thank GatorBoy150 for subscribing while the studio was down. Brand new subscriber, 100% invented Gator Boots. Zealot, please, 100% invented StarCraft 2. Both new subscribers while the studio was down. Travel! Can we get the heavy, heavy chain wall and spam and chat for the 12 years with Jeff Beasy, Amazon Prime? That's, I gotta put that on the list. Where's my... I got no... I got a pen. I got to We got to have some for, for the special one year. We got to have. I put it in the book of needles. Yo, Travel, thank you so much for the one year of acquiescence. Murdoch down in the red shirt, gold chain, not for the very first time. But thank you so much for the prime, Murdoch. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. Moy had all go for the 59 months. I appreciate it. K Man again, brand new subscriber. Here we go. D Space Double OM. Can we pull one off today? I certainly hope so. Here we go. Ooh, what is this gun? Rule of doom. Shoot everything that moves and you, you don't stop for nothing. Alright, here we go. <laughs> we stop for nothing. Nikita, Nikita hacks our game, comes in as Nikita Lutoi. Sometimes that's the cost of doing business. Sometimes with sacrifice. A D space double OM run. For a good normal run. Yeah, that, that, I, felt, I just felt it today. The fail. Friday fail. I've never had that gun once. Is that a really good gun? It's gotta be a good gun. Yeah, I've never even seen that thing. Let me ask you guys something. What's the most meme heavy, sloppy spaghetti song you guys have ever heard in your life? Let's go. Cause I feel like, and it also has to be royalty free because look at our stash. It, it has to be royalty free. Our stash, I mean, look. I mean, I'm starting to the point right now where, like, is this, is this embarrassing? All right, let, let, let's let's take an embarrassment poll here. Let's do the first embarrassment poll ever because we're not gonna, we're gonna, not going to make a habit out of it. Type zero to a hundred in chat. Hundred being the most embarrassing stash you've ever seen in your life. Zero being like one of the cleanest. Let's let's take a quick vote here. We'll and the bot will do the con the average conglomeration. Like I feel like I need to play a spaghetti song right now. If there's a royalty free song about spaghetti, that would be the song I need to play. I'll tell you what though, I do like the scab box. It really feeds our hoarding addiction. The Vanga bus. I mean, <laughs> pizza pass. Is there any reason? What was the what was the community average on this one? Sushi, by the way, I see you, you're rolling solo today. I appreciate it, man. 
The community average 54% embarrassment of stash. Like, can I ask you guys? How did it get to this point? Like, is there a reasoning we need all these figures? And all these cats? Just happens? I mean, I'm proud of it in an in a almost like, I'm actually proud of it. You know, like it looks nice. We can, we can make this look nice, but from a, <laughs> from a production standpoint, the opposite of health helpful. So let's just, we're just going to, we're just going to dump it all right here. And to our credit, and I, look, I'm not I'm not one to dole out credit left and right. You know, I'm actually pretty tight on credit. I feel like we've been having some good runs, you know? But if this is an, an embarrassment, let's just let's just we'll call it like we see it. <laughs> this this stash is an you know, it's embarrassment. I, I got it, we got it, we gotta clean it up. The mahogany's cat worth hoarding. All right, so basically, guys, want to turn this thing around. Let's get a run going here. I'm okay with that. All right, thank you guys. By the way, you know, like, I'll take you guys behind, behind the back wall here. I'll I'll, I'll take you guys behind the curtain. Hop in the the 2009 Ford Escape, 88,000 miles on it, four four wheel drive pearl color on the outside tan leather on the inside not because i picked it that way just because it was available at the time but as we go for a ride here i'd like to understand my shoulders are very sick there we go um there we go now nah, now nah, we're just relaxing I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in and and just supporting the show, cause you guys know, like I don't talk about it. You know, I'm a little maybe. Hold on, I gotta raise the seat up. All right, um, it's been it's been hectic. You know, it's been hectic. It's been helter skelter, and I, and I feel like you can get away with some of it, but where you can't get away with it is in your stash. You know, you you gotta take care. If you're not taking care of your stash, what are you taking care of? You know, we, we, we piece together, uh, let's just call them what they're, miracle streams. But the stash, we got to clean it up. Hands on the wheel? Nah, that's why you guys sit in the dang front, dang seat. It's got autonomous driving, but only if you dang front, dang seat. <laughs> Yo, boy, I hope all is good, by the way. Yo, K Manigan, brand new subscriber, 100% invented the character Mad Mardigan from Willow. Welcome with a dang heart spam and chat. Zen Overmind, thanks for the 404. Spring Apple, Don in the red shirt, gold chain. For 10 consecutive months, simply says sup. Welcome, Spring Apple. You're just around the corner. Pun Punish Dismas, Don in the red shirt, gold chain for two consecutive months. I love this community. Dang hug, dang hug, dang hug, dang hug. We, it was rare that we call for some hugs. Can we go Ooh. call some hugs? Will You know, I haven't seen Willow in... Probably a decade, maybe 15 years. I think that's a good place for it. There's like there's like a catalog of movies Ooh. that I'm not going to watch until my kids are ready to watch them. Just because I want to keep them fresh, you know? <laughs> Dusty the Zombie, Don of the Red Shirt, Gold Chain for the very first time, courtesy of Jeff Beasy and the light blue button in the upper right-hand corner. Dusty the Zombie, 100% invented the character Rick, Richard Rick Grimes. Happy to have someone of your character design in our presence. Dill Pickles 71 099 100% brand new subscriber. Courtesy of Jeff BZ, Amazon Prime. Thank you so much for supporting the show. 100% invented. Canned spam. And Mike Mersh. Thank you so much for the eight months and, and the over the top support. I truly appreciate it. Can you lay down a thought provoking proverb? If you go out to the patch. To pick berries. And you come back with a handful of clay. Maybe. Just maybe. The artistry was in the journey. How's that for a proverb? 
You actually go to school for character design. Hey, like Dusty, you don't think I don't know that? I know you invented the character Rick Grimes. <laughs> but welcome, Dusty. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. All right, so interesting spawn here for us. Central is. Can I? I gotta call you out. I know you're not a fan of shorelines, but but why? I, I'm all I'm all for for unabashed discourse, but I'd like to know why you don't like shoreline. Yo, Bait and York, what's good? Yeah, yeah, we started a little early. I tweeted it late last night. Because we're adding a little dab on. You seek some variety. Hey. I got you on that one. Now, th that To me, that's like... I don't want to say things are valid or invalid, but that's a valid argument. Like, we do go to Shoreline because it's... Let's be honest. You play to win the game. I don't want to call them easy dubs. But they're dubs that are... Are we really loud today? Like, I feel like I'm blowing people's ears out. Change something or drop something. Yo, no no fun Sam. Welcome back. No fun Sam, can you tell me the origin story of your name? Like, cause, cause my guess is if, if you're part of this community, which you are, if you're about one thing, it's about having fun. This whole no fun business, I have to say that's down. that's misleading marketing. Rochambeau. What's in here, Rochambeau? There's a gun, gun case. Rochambeau. For 15 months, been doing the scissors, paper, rock. Thank you so much for the 15 straight months. Can we get some dang heart spam in chat? Thank you so much for supporting the show. By hitting the light blue button here, not once, not twice, but 15 consecutive months. Did No Fun say why their name's No Fun? What did Mythic say? Most streamers are too quiet, actually. <laughs> I don't want to blow out anyone's speakers. But I just feel like we're... Not feedback-wise, but just... Maybe I'm eating the microphone. The first time I was a dungeon master for your friends, I took away their weapons to give them specific... To give them area-specific versions. That sounds like fun to me. My buddy said, said he thought I was going all no fun, Sam. That sounds like fun. And the name stuck. I got you. It's, it's misleading, though. But, I, I, but it's not misleading if you know the origin story. Alright. With that being said, we didn't get a chance to catch up early in the show today because we want to get things rolling. Uh, but now since we're in, to quote unquote... Centralis calls this Snoreline, which I only say Snoreline in quotes because I, I enjoy this map. But what are you most looking forward to this weekend? The, the weekend is nearly upon us. What are you most looking forward to? More sir, so yeet Zen. I see you, Zen Master Phil Jackson, making some sauce. Where? I don't have my meds bound. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. I don't know how we survive that. Where the heck? So it was a, it's gotta be a scab, right? Um... Where was he? Towards the bunker. Thank you. Thank you for the intel, the dang front, dang seat. You're getting married tomorrow, yo! Can we get some dang hard spam and chat for Hunter C? Congrats! The ring of acquiescence. There, <laughs> that, that's a serious ring of acquiescence.
Excuse me. I'm very sick. He's in the bunker? Towards the bunker. Okay. Alright, so we're getting patched up here for a second. I am coming off playing a little Apex, so we gotta dial in a little bit here. Man, how banged up are we? Towards bunker. That was not towards bunker. <laughs> um. We're a little bit trapped here. Alright, so we're trapped. We, we're in a terrible locale. But one thing we don't do is we don't bend the knee. We'll find a way in. We'll find a way out. We have no other Kobe's. Hmm. Where do you guys think, huh? Not there. He's going to wait us out, but where is he? Um, all right, let's figure this out together. This, this, this is what makes this community special. Give me dang. <laughs> Left ear. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> Sometimes you just... You just make us and run. <laughs> Live to fight another day, boys. Oh my gosh. I mean, let's just get out of this place in one piece, huh? That sounds like a scav, though. Yo, Gage Malamute, thanks for the seven months in a row. Truly appreciate it. We're going to try to get out of this seven times for you. Jimmy Bakewell donned the red shirt gold chain for the very first time. Jimmy Bakewell, 100% invented muffin tins. All right, we got a dial here. I kind of want to go get this guy, though. There, there he was. At sometimes you go out, you go get him, and you say, you know what, kid? It's a cost to doing business. You're going to use a Jackie and a Mose, and you better treat him right. <laughs> I give him credit, though, man. That dude was relentless. I give him heavy, heavy street cred. And we'll take his Coca-Cola. The dude was relentless. We got to get the heck out of here, though. You guys heard steppers? More steppers? Let's just get out of here, man. Live to fight another day. Let's go pier boat. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't call his aim garbage. Pepsi bottle? Coca-Cola glass? I haven't heard that one in a while. He dinged us a bunch, man. I would I would say maybe his strats weren't the best, but his aiming, I wouldn't take shots at his aiming. Yeah, he blacked out three limbs. <laughs> Alright. It's nice nice to pull that out though, you know. His aiming, in fact, took shots at you one hundred percent. That was probably a little overkill with that zoomy, but we're okay. Sorry about the bitrate. 
Uh, we're getting a little bit at Demon Bond, so the goal is normally we go about a buck thirty of Dark Souls. Today we're gonna go two buck of Dark Souls. He had the most opportune chance to bop you and only managed to Swiss cheese your legs. To his discredit, though, we have good armor. You know? Oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> Hang in here, boys. Uh, Division Bounty's gonna be right after Tarkov. I'm excited to check it out. I checked out Division 1 early, and I think I played a little too early. But I think I'm... This is a game that I'm excited to check out. Just so it happens to be sponsored as well, which is nice. Smoking Jeffrey. Don in the red shirt, gold chain for five consecutive months. Can we get some J space? Double E, F, spam, and chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Welcome with the dang heart spam and chat. Yeah, I started early today, Realms. I tweeted it last night, and I put it in the community Discord today. Um, kind of made the call last night. So I try to indicate, you know, uh, I try to let people know as, as much as possible. We're starting early because we're adding. So we're not taking away, we're adding. All right, usually there's a scab up here. Sorry about that, Realms. Realms, you're in the disky though, aren't you? <laughs> DP578. It's, uh, to, to talk a little inside baseball, when the games are of interest to you, like... Division 2 is something I want to check out because I'm hoping that, in particular, I want to check out the PvP zones. But when it's a good game and it's it's juicy, it's like easy clap. Careful you got no legs. Yo, Melissa, I appreciate helping me dial. Uh, is that boat gone? Or is it there? Looks like it's gone to me. Is that right? <laughs> uh, can we confirm the boat's gone? I think someone's in here because this door is never closed. yourself down great timing on that one by the way <laughs> we lost some good gear on that one we lost some good gear man 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 but they are who we thought they were and we let them off the hook uh, sit yourself down let me let me take this moment thanks coach let me take this moment to to clean some things up there. Just there's there's indicators in life that that you just need to be aware of. Indicator number 1. You hear rustling around. You hear the, you hear someone rustling the jimmies in the filing cabinet. We hear we heard him shuffling and shuffling and shuffling. Indicator 1. Indicator 2. Doors closed. The doors never closed. And here we are, indicator number three. We're just up there lollygagging. Hey, let's pick some daisies and eat some lollipops. Forgot this was Tarkov. And you know what our penalty is? We had that gun for probably six straight raids. It's gone. That, that, was, that was a memorable gun. It was a good gun. It was our gun. We, we did bop this guy, though. Life is precious. <laughs> you know what I feel like doing? Let's just do one. You got you guys down? Let's, let's, let's just do one. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> 
<laughs> Wally Renfield. Don in the red shirt gold chain for 15 consecutive months as you got no legs. Hey, you were 100% right, Wally. Thank you so much for the 15 months. Hey, let's, let's run it back here. You know what? Why not? You know what happens? You give Doom a Mosin. Wait for it. We're going to go vertical. There we go, boys. There we go, boys. There we go, boys. Now we're back. You ready to snap? We're going to have a hefty snap up here. Little hi hat. Hit the B rooms, hit the B rooms, hit the B rooms. Is this Call of Duty? <laughs> no, this is D Space Double OM. Let's go! <laughs> Little hi hat. The Mosin just delivers hot lead. This is dangerous. All right, boys, keep it moving. <gasps> All right, that one felt better, though. That one did feel better. <laughs> that was a good one. Look, not bad. I, I feel like we got to sprinkle more, you know? I feel like we should, we should be sprinkling more. Should we sprinkle more? Yo, what's up, Zoid? Welcome to the show. You know what? It's been a while since we've had a Jackie run. Let's go ahead and get ourselves dialed in you can you wear you can't wear commies with that can you i'm okay with that um we don't really have we have a big big vest it may be a little bit overkill is that overkill to bring this vest maybe let's get geared up here real quick um <laughs> what a disaster look at this inventory I mean, man, we must have, we've had how many good runs? Can I get an exclamation point overall? In case you guys are new to the show, we're trying to get to the Tarkov playoffs. What's that? Let's go. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Yo, playoffs? Di dynamic warpath. Opening Let's up go. a 20 pack of Subarinos. Ooh. What in the tomfoolery? Can we get some heavy, heavy, heavy dang pack spam in the chat? Dynamic Warpath, thank you so much for going above and beyond supporting what we do here in the show and the community. Truly appreciate it. Can we get heavy, heavy pack and heavy, heavy dang heart spam in chat? Thank you so much. So... Dynamic Warpath just opened up a 20 pack of Subarinos, which is four pack of Subarinos. I'm waiting on a shipment. So, pack we essence is going to be next Friday. I mean, at the rate we're going on, you know, I, I got to lean heavily on the Moderinos to help me because I have the list of packs, but it's also not entirely accurate. But next Friday, Ooh. I'd budget at least an hour for packs. Um, with the amount of packs to be 
an egregious amount. And we'll just kind of leave it at that. But thank you so much. If you guys are new to the show, anytime someone opens up a five pack of Subarinos, we invite you guys in the card shop. We got to clean it up a little bit. We got to. <laughs> don't want you to see. We got the new card cam. We'll open it up. Some some pack of Subarinos here. It's okay. It just. It was my driver's license. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> uh, no, you know what? I'm I'm unfamiliar in that realm. I, I don't think. Do you pick the people when you gift a sub, or is it random? Let's go. Every time you touch the desk, thanks for your social security number. You can pick or do Let's randoms. Go. Yo, thank you guys so much for the, the support. Dynamic Warpath, going above and beyond. Truly appreciate it. Let's go. Random? I don't know. You can pick. I don't know. I don't know how it works. All right, let's get ourselves geared up. Let's go. Um, try need. We need to burn those. All right, so if we're gonna go in, let's go in. Um. Let's go. We're gonna have to buy ourselves some. some <laughs> Dan, please don't take five bullets with you. We're not. We're not. We're gonna go into the wish list. These are expensive ballots. You can only pick if it's a single gift sub. That makes Ooh. sense. <laughs> Thanks, strong for it. I just gotta remember. I, I gotta. I gotta keep. Normally, I keep stuff here. We gotta keep this area fresh and clean. Ooh. Gotta keep it clean. We could do some interesting things with this though. All right. <laughs> let's let's get our bullets and get out of here, alright? What kind of uh what kind of run are we feeling here? You know what we haven't done? We have not gone what's our overall right now? Sometimes you gotta keep your resin close and your and your renemies closer. Um We're seventy five and seventy? <laughs> Alright, we could we can get a little egregious here. Scab boss run? One thing is we got no shot at a gold chain if we go scab boss run, but we'll try it. Where's our other key key bar at? There it is. Uh, but I feel you. I'll go. I'll do that. Um, bring some PKs. What is that? Why does Dan have a smiley face on my hand? Oh uh, wait, yo! I see you with the eagle eye. How the heck did you guys see that? Hidden emotes. Oh, you. Some people can't see that. They have to have a special gene to be able to see that. That's great eyes. Yo, who know? Whoever noticed that? Yo, I got a job for you. All right, I got a job for you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put hidden emotes. Where are we going? Are we going? Are we really going custies? All right, we'll go Custies. I don't think we insured our last stash either. Um, Chuck E. Cheese stamp. Yo, by the way, if anyone got gifted a sub, you, if you if you're unfamiliar with this. If you get gifted a sub, look in the upper right hand corner, there's a little alert button. Click the button. It tells you who gifted you the sub. I, I would now that you got the emotes, I would encourage you to add that person and drop them a little dang heart. Just throwing. Just throwing that out there. When are you calling Chuck E. Cheeses? I could do that. I just don't want to get in tr I don't want to get TOS for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get There's no T. No, there's a T. I don't want to get T O S for that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Yo, by the way, Brett Anna Deluski, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to QB Dev as well. Thank you so much. No, you know what? I never figured it out, but there was there was confirmation that someone found that a Chuck E. Cheese rented the whole thing out four years ago. But 20 years ago, I'm just telling you, it's like 90. It, it's got to be real. I, I wouldn't make something like that up. Pure Sushi, can I say your name wrong? Nah. I just can't. With a name like... You can't. You can't. Eventually, you'll probably get a nickname, but it, but it won't be a mispronunciation. You know? Like Val Hollis. Val Hollis. Why am I looking here? I'm gold chain. Gold chain guaranteed. Gold chain guaranteed. Ruples? 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 Alright, can we have a serious discussion here? I'd like to have a serious discussion. Very serious discussion. In all seriousness. Why is it, this game is so fun? Why is it? Like, for all intents and purposes, we've been playing this game for two years. And, like, if you play a game for two years, like, you're probably going to get bored of, uh, bored of it. I'm just telling you right now, it feels like the first time every time. You know, when, when you're this... There's a USB stick. Adrenaline? Yo! <laughs> you gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to slide a flash drive past the dang front dang seat. You can slide it past me sometimes early in the morning, but you will not slide it past the dang front dang seat. Yo! The same people that caught the, that USB drive also caught the smiley face on her hand. Loot and chat interaction. I'm with you on that. I feel like this is like... It's got thrill of the kill. Chat interaction, dang front, dang seat, high tier PvP. It's just really good. I just, I like, I'm trying to dissect why it hasn't gotten old. Because you're smart and only play for two hours at a time. I think that does help. You know, I think that's a factor. Like, 100% I think that's a factor. N you know, n now that I know nothing about Tarkov... Yo, that flash drive is extremely rare. So, Doom and Doom... Do keep it fresh. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just like... It's like every run's different, but there's enough cons consistency. Like, there's times when we... Yo, how do we turn that on? There we go. There's times when we lose fights we shouldn't, and there's times when we win fights that we definitely shouldn't. I don't know. I can't put a beat on it. There's just nothing else like it. Like, I was doing... So, I'm doing some Apex recording for... Bop them. Like, that... To me, that feeling, and I know it may sound a little bit twisted, never gets old. I'm doing some Apex recording for that European TV deal. And, uh, like, I did an hour of it. And I'm like, I'm good. You know, like, I like it, but I couldn't sit there and play it as much as I played Tarkov. Just because it's like, I feel like Tarkov is, is like a meal where you go and you're not, you get there, you know there's a great appetizer. You're going to have a great non-adult beverage. You know the, the entree is going to be great. You know the, the dessert's going to be great. You know the the after-dinner drink, maybe your coffee is going to be great. And you're not in a rush to do it, you know? We're like, Apex is like, hey, sh shovel this burger, shovel these fries. And it's like, there's nothing wrong with that. I enjoy, I, I love burgers and fries. But I don't want it every day. You know? I just put a bandage in my gamma. Yo, quote that. Quote that. I did. I don't I don't know why. I enjoy Apex. I think it's a fun experience, but I, that's like 
I think that's a good sprinkle, you know, for random interviews, but that's about it. It's because gambling, getting that huge amount of loot out of point zero zero one gives you that high. I think so. I mean, there's a huge sense of loss and gain in the game. I don't know. It's just, it's unique. Maybe because you never sell your stuff, so you never really build up ruples. High stakes. The, high, the stakes are real. And that's the thing where it's like, battle royales are fun and there's some stakes in it. But it's like, you're, you're betting the change you found in your couch cushion. Tarkov, it's like you're betting g generations of, of wealth. You know, you, you make a wrong turn. Your great, great, great grandkids. Aren't even gonna get a chance to to see Jackie. Yo, so we play. You know, I can't tell you that. Never mind. We were me uh me Mythis and Ryan did did some recording of a game, and all it did was make you want to eat. Sphinx said this is really the only game I've played with real consequences upon death. I will relay those sentiments. With the caveat being the second game. You guys know the firsty. The first one was Ultima. Ultima Online. Who leaked Who leaked anything? I, there's no leakage confirmed. Does this seem smashed to you? Like it seems the, the orientation seems smashed. Ryan already mentioned it. Yo. Tell you, I'm not telling any of my deep dark secrets to. That's not a circular scope. Ah. It has this, a lot of the same attraction for Daisy, but it works and is way more polished. Yeah, Brett, like that's. I'm with you on that. Like, I love the concept of Daisy, but the execution wasn't there for me. You know, it just felt like. Hold on. I got no commies though. Like I just, it didn't feel, it didn't feel to me. Like I didn't, the menus were kind of different and yo, Ultima Online is a special place. It was speaking of, one of these days I'll show you guys. I've never been so undialed in my life. Yo, what's up Jesse? Speaking of undialed. What's new in the the biochem nurse world? Yo, Kradinko, Don in the red shirt, gold chain for nine consecutive months. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo, we got a burner out here. Um, question. Just got Tarkov. Any tips on spotting players from AI? Yes. So first thing you can tell is by gear. So if they're most of the time, if they're thick in the torso, it's going to be a player. Um, I don't, it's really hard. That would be an interesting video to make to like help people. Like I'm at the point where I just know, but I'm trying to first grade explanation why we know. Um, all you can tell in how they move. I don't have no no idea what this is. What is that? What is that? Oh, streamer item. Oh. Um. But to answer your question, I, I don't. I just know. Like most of the time, you know what? Next time we see a scav. Here's what I'm going to do. Next time we see a scab and know it's a scab. Also, part of it is location. Like, so you know where they, you learn where they spawn. Um, but next time I see a scab, I'll break down why I know it's a scab to help you out. And that's awesome. Like, that's one of the things I like doing in the rare occasion that I can teach you guys something about a game. Please at me. I'll teach you whatever I know. Uh, but also, I would encourage you to, uh, if you, if you want to play with... With even more dialed people that are extremely nice, especially the new players. I encourage you guys to check out our community disky. 
Um, there's a lot of very falutin Tarkov players, a lot of nice people in our community that I think just the other night I, I popped in and I, I dropped a let's go. And uh, I think it was Mr. Mosin, man, was showing around someone new. He's like, hey, I'm showing a new player around. I'm like, yo, that's why we do what we do. Can I teach you how to run our sets and then slide into the DMs? I mean, I can teach you how to run your sets, but sliding in the DMs, that may be against Twitch TOS. Yo, uh, I thought we had a key for that. 220? What happened cool. to our 220? Yo, Josh Visor! Opening up a five pack of Submarinos. Let's go. Can we get some dang packs spam in the chat for Josh Visor? Thank you so much for the support, Josh Visor. Speaking of dialed individuals that help out Tarkov community, Josh Visor is one of those people. Thank you so much. If you happen to be gifted a, a Subarino from Josh Visor, I'd encourage you ever, actually spam some dang heart for my mans. Thank you so much for the support. Supporting the community. You know, from a from an inside baseball perspective. Let's go. The heck is that? Oh. Um, sub gifting is like the win 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 situation, and I think it's it's really I I you know someone mentioned this in the community, might have been in chat like a couple weeks ago, but it's like a good, it's super helpful, as like an outreach thing. So someone that may be gifted a sub is more likely to come back. You know what I mean? Which is super helpful. So I'd appreciate it. But just, you know, one of the things, because we don't talk a ton of inside baseball around here. Like, I'm just super grateful and thankful that everyone's so kind to each other and you support what we do here. Because it's, it's a lot of fun, you know. And I was, I, I it's something I look forward to Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I just, I just get fired up for it, you know. And then, and that's what I hope you guys know, like, uh. Just that I'm always, yo, I'm always thinking about how to make things better. But more importantly, and I think we talk about, this, I talk about this a lot in the podcast, but let me breathe here for a second. Um, just that it, this is a long-term game for me. You know what I mean? There's a lot, yo, where do we get all these keys from? Just, uh, I don't know. I just. All the decisions I make regarding the show and the community, it's all like long-term based. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but. Yo, Brett, yo, Brett, I'm going to call you out here. Brett, how did you find the show? Thanks for the company, TM. Uh, yo, that's helpful. I always like to know how people found the community because it helps us dial in. Um, all right, let's get back to business here. So I'm surprised we haven't seen any scavs down here. You found you were doing some duo stream with Deadly Slob a couple weeks ago. Did you watch it live or did you watch the VOD, Zen? Yo, Zura, I appreciate it. You found it through Justin's. Ryan said my friend Dan Geesling. I, I, you know, I'd use the term friend loosely. <laughs> Just teasing. That's the, f the funny thing for me is that it's not funny. I guess it's just real life. But, like, I have, like, a very, 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 very small group of friends from high school. Like, very small. Like, we're talking you could fill Team Unity small. Um, and it's like, like, we keep in touch a little bit. 
But then I've really like taken a step back and think about, okay, who do I spend the most time with outside of my direct family? And it's like Ryan, Team Unity, and guys that I do stuff with here. You know, and it's like... And when I was thinking about... Let's go. Like, those people are my friends. You know, and it's like... I don't know. I don't know why that came up in conversation, but... It's like the way that you make friends has totally changed, in my opinion. Because it's like in my... Like, we hang out and stuff and online, but like... I just don't hang out in real life with with friends. I don't know. Maybe because our, our interests are so different. I don't know. Social support is important and it doesn't have to be strictly face-to-face -face anymore. I'm with you on that. And, and like, I think that's a super important thing. It You know, not, you know, I'm not just talking about YouTube, but whatever you're into. Like, to have people with similar interests doing the same thing on the same page. Because no person is an island. You know, you got to... You're going to have ideas and things you want to explore and talk about. And sometimes only people that are in the same kind of deal can relate to it. <laughs> Cage Malamute's like, yo, shut up. When is Dark Souls 3? I know he didn't say that, but. This dude likes to mispronounce words. That's funny. You stuck around and you tried watching the supercut. But it turned it off 10 minutes in. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call it, it's not like a, I wouldn't call it a super popular show, but Big Brother definitely has a very, very loyal fan base. And I think like, I wouldn't necessarily recommend anyone watch it if they've never, because it just gives, it gives you maybe like a weird perspective or some perspective, I guess. But no, I, I, if you were into that sort of thing, I guess I would say. Take the strikes. I should have. Yeah, no, I always enjoyed it. I think, yeah, like... I think it'll give you guys some insight into, like... I guess maybe how we approach the show. That may give you some insight there. I don't know. I wouldn't be... Was I salty about season four? Yo, Bazuto, I appreciate it, man. I think that's the cool thing about the NLSS crew is that... Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We were just talking about that. Uh, do we have any duplicates? 203, get out of here, coach. Let's go! <laughs> that's why you always search every nook and cranny in every pocket that's a good key right there put that in our back pocket but i think that's the cool thing about the nlss crew is like it can be hard pressed to find two people that are very similar i, I think people have similar traits but everyone in the nls crew produces for the most part, in my opinion, very different content. Yo, why is that a good key you found that last week? That's a great key because... Let me tell you why. There's a marked room. Uh, let me slide this up here. There's a room in that dorm we were just in. Uh, in the two-story? And it spawns... It has a good spawn. It's a really good room. I have not found any lab keys. End of the three story. There you go. It's been so long. We haven't had a chance to loot it, but, but yeah, no. So I think like, um, it spawn, it can spawn a dot case. So I think that's cool, you know, and, and everyone's, I think that's what makes that show interesting is because you're not getting, in my opinion, four or five or six of the exact same perspectives. Like everyone's from different parts 
of the country and different countries and I just think it makes for an interesting dynamic because it's not all just like people saying the same thing. Can I help you with your BSG launcher, please? What's wrong with it? Yeah, no fun, Sam. That too. And like, that's kind of like where I got to a point with um, Star Citizen. Like, I know if I put it on YouTube, it's going to do well, but it just, it just, it doesn't feel right right now, you know? For me. Not that I don't like the game. I'm still fired up about the game, but it just doesn't feel right right now. And, and it feels like like it would be forced. You know, chug time. I left it in my car. I got to go get it. But you're right, MBabs. I'm very parched. I'm not sure, Go Dad, or I, I haven't had any problems with it. Yo, Belladon, what's good? Jay, what's good? Jay, what game were you playing last night? So Jay, so Wolves My Door, fellow friend of the show, friend, friend of life. Um, you were playing some like D&D &D game or something. What was it? Yo, Jesse, I appreciate that. That means a lot. Yo, that, uh, that struck a chord with me, yo. But that's part of the deal, man. Like, rip. Um, like, I just noticed how that impacted my life. Like, you got a choice. Like, anytime something happens, there's two ways to look at it. There's a lot of ways to look at it, but... You either look at it and be like, okay, what's next? Or, oh man, why did that have to happen to me? I'm so unlucky. One way you got a shot to move forward. The other way, you're buried. So I just try, try to help people not get buried. He's chasing. Dial. Minkus. That ha that was a player, right? Had to be a player. That was a player. It was a one bot player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we got no we got no commies. So what do we do in this situation? We got a visor. Should I take the helmet off? Oh, it's like a social engineering game, you said, Jay. I saw that go by. Oh, there's a burner. There's a burner. Just chill here. Yo, Zoid, I appreciate that. Should I take the helmet off? Oh, Centralis, we don't wreck. Gotta get Minkus spam in chat. Minkus. He's close. He's hunting for us. Here we go. Minkus. Let's go! Let's go! He's juiced! Let's go! <laughs> Sometimes a little patient crack open a cold one. There's no way we should win that fight. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. There, that, that's juicy. Oh. Uh, uh, Oh, let car get your carving knife ready. It's time for Thanksgiving dinner. He's ju oh look at look at the sauce. There's so much sauce here. Oh, there's so much. There's so much of it. <laughs> No. 
one of our top three gets of all time. I mean, I'm a little nervous. I think we just yeet this thing. Yeet this whole thing. We don't need it. Yeet it. Take that. Anything good in here, we'd probably just yeet this whole thing too. Keep the Amos. Yeet this. Take that. Give us, give us the big dog here. Oh, what is that? All right. Hang with me. Hang with me here. Just just hang with me here, kid. Hang with me. Hang with me here, kid. Hang. We got to run our sets here. Run your sets. Take the most important of the most important of the most important. Eat this. Eat this. Eat this. Uh, I can't ditch the Jackie. No, no. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, 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 sorry. All right, we need to make room for this and this. Hear me out. Hear me out. Let's go. This I I don't even know what this gun is. <laughs> Drop the Mosin. Excuse me. There's Mosin is treated like gold around these parts. It's an M4, but better. Well, excuse me. Man. Like, I'm telling you right now. You could clip what we just said. We lose fights we shouldn't lose, and we win fights we shouldn't win. There's absolutely no way we should have won that fight. But I'm glad we did. I mean, it's a total full body upgrade. Botox fillers. Nose job. Reinforcements. That gun is probably like 500k. I don't even know what it is. Might be a teammate exit camping. Who's going to have to do it in the dark? <laughs> Oh. Dot dash dash dot send a message while it's hot. <laughs> that was a big one. Oh man, just when the tides turn, they turn back for you. Holy cow. Oleg and Air Raid drum. Yo, Air Raid. Good fight, dude. If you're if you're somewhere out there, my dude. It happens to the best of us. I wouldn't know, but... Reach into your back pocket. Spam that RW. <laughs> I mean... This, this can feed generations of Tarkov players. Glock, Mosin, M4, HK, 416A5, Attack, Backpack... We got some tea. Oh, that was a good. One. We just got to make sure we come back, man. We if we if we dab that up, plus get our insurance fraud. That's what happens when you run your sets. Man.
That's a good one, man. I tell you, you question. You don't question, but we talked earlier today. Why, after two years of playing Tarka, does it still feel like the first time every time? Because of things like that. <laughs> and look at this character. D space, U space, K space, E. <laughs> what is that? What is on his head? Plus the marked key, monocle, yo. So if you guys are new to the show, I encourage you guys to hit the follow button. We always bookend our Tarkov portion of the show with a D space, U double, D space, U space, K space, here we go. It's, we shoot everything that moves. We don't play this tactical, we play this aggressive. Oh, I thought he was hiding. <laughs> Hang in here, boys. We gotta pick the pace up, though. We, we don't walk in Duke. We run in Duke. <laughs> I saw you. Hang in here, boys. Hang in here. Hang in here. Hang in here. Got him on the last one, buddy. Yep, 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 yep. Hang in here. Yep, 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 yep. Hang in here. We're a little banged up here, kid. Oh, we got to stop in G-Hill. Oh, we're, we're bopped. That's all right, kid. Live to fight another day. <laughs> that dude was sauced. 